In this tutorial, you will be learning about horizontal asymptotes of rational functions with respect to equations and graphs. When looking at rational equations, you can determine if there is a horizontal asymptote and if there is, its location by comparing the coefficients of the largest power in the numerator and denominator. There are three cases we will consider. First, where the highest power is in the denominator. Second, where the highest powers in the numerator and denominator are equal. And third, where the highest power is in the numerator. Horizontal asymptotes are used to describe n behavior. Unlike vertical asymptotes, a function may cross the horizontal asymptote before approaching it as part of the function's n behavior. We can see this occurring in the following example. The first case we will look at is where the highest power is in the denominator. This means that there is a horizontal asymptote on the x-axis, which we can also refer to as y equals zero. Consider the following example. The highest power in the numerator is three, and the highest power in the denominator is four. This means that there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. There is a case, though, where the horizontal asymptote may not be at y equals zero. This is when there is a vertical translation. Think back to when you learned about transformations and vertical translations. This will usually look like a number being added or subtracted after the main expression, and will move the function up or down accordingly. Here is a horizontal asymptote at y equals three, after a vertical translation of three up, as seen here. The second case is when the highest powers in the numerator and denominator are the same. In these cases, there is a horizontal asymptote at the coefficients of these powers. In the following example, we can see that the highest powers in the numerator and denominator are the same. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote can be found at y equals 6 over 3, or y equals 2. Remember that a horizontal asymptote might be crossed by the function before it begins its end behavior, as we can see occurring here. There will also be some cases where there is no horizontal asymptote. These cases occur where the highest power in the numerator is greater than the highest power in the denominator. Here are a few different examples. In each example, we can see that the highest power is in the numerator. In this lesson, you learned about horizontal asymptotes of rational functions and their connection to equations and graphs. That there are three cases we may come across. First, when the highest power was in the denominator, creating a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. Remember that this can be translated up and down by adding or subtracting a number accordingly. Second, when the highest powers in the numerator and denominator are the same, creating a horizontal asymptote at the highest power's coefficients. Lastly, when the highest power is in the numerator and therefore there is no horizontal asymptote.